Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a punched out Thursday to die for with Kathy, Krista, Ronnie, Sue, Dorothy, myself, and Sonia. This is also Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches and this is the sketch that we're using today. So I pulled out my hexagon punch and these two very cute pictures of my little baby boy. And once again, I am using a collection kit that I had put together. Um, these were scraps from previous days. Uh, full, full disclosure, I had all intention to use the stripe and I stuck it on the back side of it. I don't know. I did go ahead and punch everything out and get started because that was gonna take quite some time to fill up the border. Um, I did run out of punched out hexagons, so I went ahead and punched some more. And I have the entire background now layered up with all the fun little hexagons. I did add some in different places. I believe that my, my actual hexagon punch is bigger than what the sketch had. I am going to go ahead and map my two photos on this um, pattern paper here. Uh, I'm going to double mat it. I do it on the teal with white and yellow flowers and then I do it on the white with teal and yellow flowers just to give it a little bit more of a pop to make it pop up off the page because there's a lot of hexagons going on and I love using my hexagon punch. You guys know this. I just roughly cut those out. While I'm getting these matted and trimmed up, I do want to remind you that this is a two for today. There are two hops that I am playing along with. My normal Thursday punched out to die for with my wonderful punched out friends. They will be, I will have all their links listed down below in the description, along with all the ladies and channels that are playing along with Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. So I will have them linked down below. When you get done watching my video, please jump on over to the, all their videos and see how they used this sketch or what punches and dies that they decided to use to create a layout today. I'm always ever so inspired by these women. So we're just gonna clean that up a bit and I'm gonna go ahead and layer the photos right up on top of each other. And um, the sketch did call for it in a different, um, configuration but my little sister was trying to get my son to laugh for the camera and she was holding the baby lotion <laughs> above him to make him look so I was just covering up that right there I do go ahead and take my black pen and just do some wonky outlines of all of this pattern of punched out hexagon I do not make you watch me do all that and then I do take a metallic green one and outline um, the other ones some of the other ones there are very minimal embellishments going on I'm basically just going to embellish with some enamel dots I use the remainder of my yellow um, I had separated all my enamel dots out like this and that's just not going to work for me so I'm trying to get them all used up and then I will go back to my old way it just takes up too much space. I don't know. I don't, I don't use it very much. It's a good system. It just doesn't work for me. I take the yellow and I take this a pale green and I just pop on a whole bunch of enamel dots and I layer them up onto the hexagons. And I'm just trying to figure out where I can put some more to where I don't want them right next to each other. But I do add a couple right at those little crevices of the photo because it was looking a little blank and bland right there. And I'm going to go ahead and pop on a title. Um, this is a hip kit alpha that I got when I was a member. And I'm going to do a look and here in this fun green color. It's a cross between the yellow and the seafoam green that is in this collection and this collection is just a paper pad that I picked up I believe from Michaels so I have no I really don't have any embellishments or anything to go with it and then I'm going to take a black and white um, sticker letter sticker and I'm going to put over at an angle between the look and here 
And that is pretty much going to do it for my layout, guys. How crazy is that? Simple. I mean, it did take some time because I had to punch everything out and glue it all down and trim it off and outline some of them, but I love it. And I don't really scrap with this color palette, uh, color palette very much. Words are hard. You guys know I have a hard time with words. I was thinking about moving the hair, but then I decided to just leave it there <laughs> and go with it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to go over to all my friends' links, channels, pages, and give them some love. Like their page and subscribe if you haven't already. But how cute is this? I'm super excited the way it turned out. Um, I do just go ahead and write the um, summer of 2002 on there with my little heart and that's gonna do it for this layout so I will be back tomorrow with another sketch and mixed media frenzy is tomorrow so I'll see you then bye guys